Yeah, I decided to buckle and go for Cam, guys. I know, I know, Pinello and Edge are right around the corner. And, I mean, man, there's a lot of good characters coming out. <sighs> Things are about to get real interesting. General Leo's around the corner as well. Jack's around the corner. I mean, I don't even know why I even, I'm even doing this. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say Cam's a bad unit. I mean, if you think about every unit that we get, there's a way that you can play them so that they'll be pretty much useful in certain party compositions, you know? But a lot of people have been saying he's a skip from them, and I understand. All right, first go here. And okay, Rydia. Cool, whatever. Moving on, guys. <clears throat> but anyway, I mean, it's down the line. You know, we have a lot of characters coming out. We have a lot of resources to collect. We got Pandemonium coming through so we can get our resources back. I'm not really too worried. Um, however, I have been playing a different game. That's kind of taking up most of my time. <laughs> and that game is Seven Deadly Sins. So I've been playing that um, a lot <laughs> lately. It's actually pretty addicting. Um, not to really talk about it too much right here, guys, because, oh, great, look at that. Another Rydia weapon. <laughs> I'll take it. Whatever. More power pieces. Uh, but not to take away from what we're you know, doing here. We're pulling for uh, Camelot, Camelot, whatever his name is. I know people get his name wrong all the time. Uh, but <clears throat> that game's pretty awesome. I'll give it that. The gotcha is pretty good. It's pretty uh, forgiving. Um, the, con the actual content is actually pretty good. I mean, this is not going to be like a plug about Seven Deadly Sins. I got another video planned down the line for that. But I've been playing it for a little bit, and so I kind of took away from my time. I haven't even done the Camelot event, which I don't plan on probably doing that on video. Um, just because it's already been a couple days. And um, I don't know. I'm just kind of on the fritz about it. But anyway, uh, that's where I've been kind of been for the past couple of days outside of also trying to you know, recover from my trip that I took to the States coming back here in Japan getting back on my regular routine and stuff so everything's kind of returning back to normal back to work so that's good okay you got another goat here <laughs> here we go it's already starting it's already starting but um you know it is what it is I'm happy to be back. I'm happy for things to kind of calm down. Happy to be back with my family, definitely for sure. Uh, definitely this down for those like, what, four weeks I was gone, a whole month. Time flies, man. It really does. So what I meant to say before we actually did this video is that we we're going to start out 125 tickets or so, 124, whatever. Uh, we're probably only going to do 50 tickets. Um, like I said, I'm not really... I mean, you guys know I'm a collector. I try to collect every EX weapon, or at least try to go for every EX weapon. Uh, hopefully without, you know, depleting my, my entire set of resources. Um, but, since I am a collector, I kind of have to go for them. But I'm not going to go too hard for them, though. I'm not going to, like, spend everything. Um, if we're getting lots of salt, I'll probably stop at around 75 tickets or so. I mean, we got his event to do, uh, to get all his stuff that we need to get. On top of... The new Ultimate Pandemonium uh, event coming out. Some boards. So we're going to be back up in the numbers a little bit in terms of tickets and stuff like that. And gems, I guess you could say. So hopefully, like I said, those Pinello and uh, Edge pulls will go pretty good. I mean, I'm hoping they do. Um, if we get this weapon right here, though, I'm not really too worried because Camelot. I don't really see him use a lot in the JP side of the game. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, the guy, he's okay, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fritz about him. All right, so our first five Ks right here, guys. Let's see what we can get. Okay, four. Wow, here we go. Yep, here it goes. Eight. You get one silver. Nine, and then we can get... Nope, we get two silvers and just one weapon. All right, cool. I'll take it. It's just 35 CP, so at least that's a good sign. We still got... I mean, we get 15 from the event. 
we still need to get his EX if we can. Um, let's continue on with the tickets. We'll do another 25-ish. And uh, do one more 5k and that's it. We'll wrap it up there. So anyway, guys. Um, I'm actually currently in the works of doing some collab videos in the future. With other content creators on the game. So I don't want to give the cat out of the bag. But just uh, pay attention. There might be some stuff coming out. Uh, collabing with other uh, the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omni content creators. Um, I wanna, like I said, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but in the next couple of banners, there might be something that uh, that I haven't done before. And, uh, you know, I just want to try some new stuff. You know, bring something fresh, new to the channel. Um, you guys can probably think about what it is since I just kind of said the word banner, but <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who it is yet, um, who they are. Who he is or they are you never know um but it's just something that i wanted to do um just to kind of like you know breathe some fresh air into the channel i also got some of those videos i was telling you guys about about seven daily sins coming out pretty soon i'm um, basically kind of like a pre uh pull video that i was uh actually did for my first like five or six pulls on the game on the gotcha and kind of give you my thoughts about what i think about it so far and if it's something that you know you might want to get into if you actually, you know, like to play a gotcha game. So, which, I mean, obviously, you guys like to play Dissidia. So, <laughs> that's a gotcha game for you, right? But just so, like I said, just pay attention, guys. Those will be coming down the line pretty soon. As soon as I get more, a little bit more time. Now that everything's kind of busy at the moment. Um, I mean, you guys know, I'm back at work. Um, you guys know I have a family. I'm a husband. I'm a father. <laughs> they come first. So... And since I've been gone for a while, I'm trying to spend as much time with them as possible. Um, you never know. Oh, I'm starting silver here. Look at this. Let's see what we can get here. Of course. <laughs> Not what we need. But what else is new, guys? So I was talking to some people in Discord. <laughs> Actually. You know, and some of them were talking about my videos and my poll videos and, you know, just saying, oh my gosh, man, you got so much salt. And uh, one of them said that Salt Bay is <laughs> standing over my phone sprinkling the salt down. That one just had me rolling. <laughs> um, those Yuri pulls, man, they hurt. I'm not going to lie. But the Gao pulls hurt even worse. I don't know. And like, yeah, I had to pity Yuri. I had to pity Gao. Um, ah, man. I don't know. My luck has just been terrible lately. And, of course, Rydia again. Come on now. I guess that's my consolation prize. <laughs> but yeah, man, my, my pulls, yeah, they just, they haven't been the best lately. And uh, I was saying in one of my videos as well that it's getting a, little, getting a little expensive. I mean, I do try to be free to play as much as possible. There are times when I might get a set of jewels here and there. Nothing overboard crazy, especially not for what I did with Gao because I just, I know Gao was going to be good. Um, it's gonna be a useful character. Haven't really used them much though, so it's kind of like bite me in the butt right now. Um, but I will eventually finish doing his arts, get him good to go once I have a little bit more time to play. Probably on the weekends. I'm, I plan on this weekend actually really focusing on the city. I just because I've kind of been ne neglecting it a little bit lately, just because I've been, you know, obviously playing other games and um, spending time with the family. So. This weekend, I'm going to try to buff it out for it. On top of that, guys, the hype news in JP, though. Like, Re Reno <laughs> from Final Fantasy VII is in JP now. Rude is on his way as well. Yo, that's crazy. And the Final Fantasy VII remake is right around the corner. Like, less than a month away at the time of, the, of this video. And the demo is out, too, as well. And that demo is pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it took a little bit of learning curve just to kind of understand the mechanics and everything. I'm sure it took some other people some time too. But I'm super excited for this game. All right. Anyway, backing out here. We're gonna do our next 5K. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully, this is it. This is our last um, little bit we're gonna be spending on this banner. We get them great. If we don't get them, it's whatever. I'll eventually get them. Probably 
that down the line when he comes back with LD or something. But we'll see. Alright. Turning a little bit earlier than usual. Alright, here we go. Yes! We got it! Perfect! Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, we got it. We got it. Yo, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. We actually got it. And it was on our last little bit, too. Wow. <laughs> Divine Blade. <laughs> 10,000 year ambition. That's the affinity ability. I'll take it, guys. <laughs> not the prettiest, not the best uh, pulls, but two 5Ks and 50 tickets for a unit that I really probably won't use. It's actually not terrible. It's not the greatest either, though, because... Lulu came in like nine tickets, guys. <laughs> if I can get my pulls like that, I'll be super happy. But um, but yeah. Actually, guys, before I end this video, I hope you guys noticed like I was doing my pulls a little differently. I was actually let them play out, you know. And it seems like whenever I was doing those pulls like really, really fast on tickets, I just was not getting anything really good. And I think we pulled about maybe like five or six golds. Just letting them pull out like that, you know, let them play out uh, once, once you, like, you know, tap the button and everything. Maybe it's a superstition. I don't know. But I think I'm going to do my pulls from that, like that from now. Unless, you know, it's like a 30-minute pull video and then I'm going to shorten it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to think I'm going to go with that way uh, from, from here on out. So it might be a little bit longer than usual, but it is what it is, guys. Um, anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, let me know you guys think in the comment section down below. Good luck with your pulls as well if you guys are going for cam. If not, um, which I know a lot of people aren't, um, good luck with your future pulls, whoever you decide to go for, all that good, all that good stuff, guys. So anyway, I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching, guys. And remember to always walk tall, my friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.